behold a roadkill cake today we are making a ridiculously awesome dead armadillo roadkill cake it is complete with half a dog friendly cake this fluffy white frosting is made from mashed potatoes and the rest of the cake is dog friendly half of it is made from vanilla white cake for us people which was delicious so it was really nice that everyone could have a slice of this cake now this awesome idea for a cake is brought to you by my sister who when i asked her what kind of cake i should do for our dog she said well just make her her favorite thing roadkill which i thought was so funny because unfortunately our dog absolutely loves roadkill she chases vultures because she knows there's always a pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. I covered both halves in fondant and then I used a clean dry paintbrush to tuck the edges of that fondant under. And then I took a piping tip, a round one, and I flipped it over and started making a bunch of round imprints on the fondant to give it that armored look. And then I realized I forgot to separate the bottom part of his shell from the top. So I snipped off the bottom and put in a new strip underneath to complete that armadillo look. If you want to know how to make some easy and delicious marshmallow fondant, check out my video on how to make it. The link will be in the description, so check that out right after the video. If you want the recipe to this dog-friendly cake, it's in the description. Just check it out. Check on the link. It takes you to a page where we got it from, and it's fabulous. The cake itself is not super delicious for people. We did have to try it. Yes, we tried it, but it wasn't super delicious. So we were really glad that our dog loved it and we loved our delicious white vanilla cake. And a couple hours ago, I cut out some ears and let them dry. I added some Thai loose powder to the fondant to make it extra hard. So I gave it some time to dry and then I stuck those on his head and they were the cutest little armadillo ears ever. If you're liking this video, please subscribe. I've got tons of content you gotta see and I've got lots more coming out. I used a ruler to make the actual tire tread imprint on the fondant. I mixed up some gel food coloring with a little bit of imitation vanilla and went ahead and started painting on this armadillo. Of course, my youngest daughter wanted to help and she's so darn cute. The last color to use is the black, which again is also gel food coloring. And there it is. Now it was party time. This was such a fun party. <laughs> was extra fun and we especially liked having a cake that both people and animals could enjoy so we made the butt the dog friendly cake and of course our dog Daisy was the birthday girl so she got the first piece and absolutely inhaled it this was such a fun party and we gave her like a bajillion tennis balls and if you have any suggestions for upcoming videos let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one I'm Shelly and I'm the little black shade tree